Hi everyone, in this video we're going to talk a little bit about place value as well as how to write decimal numbers in standard form, expanded form, and word form. This is going to go along with week four, day four of your packet. So go ahead and open that up and I'm going to pull up a quick reminder of place value for all of us. Okay, so this number that I have here is 123,456 and 789 thousandths. Okay, so if you can see, I just added the names of our places over here. Those first three places to the right of the decimal are going to be the tenths, hundredths, and thousandths. Okay, so what this means when we're writing an expanded form, um, as I showed you here in the parentheses, is that this ones place, to find the value of that place, we have to take the number there times one. To find the value of the tens place, we have to take that number times 10. Okay, because whatever number is in that place, that value equals that number times 10 because it's in the tens place. Okay, so that goes for the same with the hundreds, the thousands, ten thousands, all of that. But it's a little bit different for decimals because decimal values are less than one, they're less than a whole number, right? So to find the value of a decimal number like that, we have to multiply it by a fraction. What that means is for the tenths place, you're multiplying it by one tenth or one over 10. For the hundredths place, you're multiplying it by one over 100 or one hundredth, right? And for the thousandths place, it's one over 1000 or one one thousandth, okay? So to find the value of the seven right here in the tenths place, you would take seven times one tenth, which gives us seven tenths or seven over 10. For the eight, it would be eight times one over 100 or eight hundredths. And for the thousandths, it'd be nine times one over 1000 or nine thousandths, okay? So that's how you find the expanded form of decimal numbers like this. Let's go ahead now and take a look at your packet and what those pages ask you. Okay, so as you can see here, the different problems, they give you either the word form or the expanded form, and you have to write the standard form. So what that would look like with say, a problem like number two that has eight and 11 hundredths. We know that eight is our whole number here, okay? And since it's just eight, that can go in our ones place. Okay, so I'm gonna put eight, but then it says 11 hundredths. Well, you might be saying, I can't just fit the 11 in the hundredths place, because you can only put one number in the hundredths place. What that means is, we would put 11 like this, and it's called 11 hundredths, because our last decimal, our last place is here in the hundredths place. Okay, so to write eight and 11 hundredths, you would write it like this, 8.11, okay? And this would be pronounced 11 hundredths because it's the same as writing 11 over 100. Okay, now if we look at one in expanded form, like say number six, we have four times one plus one times one over 100 times one over 1,000. Okay, so the four times one, that tells me what number I need to have in the ones place, okay? And the way that you can think about this to make it a little bit clearer is you can put these all in parentheses, the parts where they're multiplying, and that's gonna help you to understand what each place value is, okay? So first we gotta find the place value of this one right here. Well, since they're multiplying in times one, we know that it goes in the ones place. Okay, so four times one is gonna give me four. Now we have one times one over 100. Notice how it skipped the tenths place. So we're just gonna put a zero in the tenths place since it didn't name it. Okay, one over 100, one times one over 100, that's just gonna be one. And I'm putting it right here because that's my hundredths place. And I know it needs to go in the hundredths place because it's over 100. Okay, and then the last number that we have here is nine 
times 1 over 1,000, which tells me it needs to go in the thousands place. And 9 times 1 over 1,000 would be 9, right? Um, or 9 thousands. So this is how we would write that number. 4 times 1 gives us the 4 in the, uh, the ones place. There's nothing over 10, so we put a 0 there. 1 times 1 over 100. That tells me I need to put a 1 in the hundredths place. And 9 times 1 over 1,000 tells me I need to put a 9 in the thousands place. Okay, so that's how you're going to go about doing those problems. I hope that this helped you to understand word form and expanded form for uh, decimals just a little bit more. If you need any more help, let me know. Reach out to me. Um, in the meantime, though, good luck and stay safe.